Okay, so as you know, we always start off with either a little bit of vocabulary or key concepts. Um, the thing I need you to write on your top of your paper is minor arc and major arc. So a minor arc is less than 180 degrees. Oh, let's see if I can spell less than 180 degrees. So on this circle right here, the minor arc would be from here to here. The major arc is more than 180 degrees. More than 180 degrees. And so it would be like from here to here. It's more than 180 degrees. Okay. Now looking at the first example, I'm just going to kind of work this in. It says name the minor arc and find its measure, then name the major arc and find its measure. So looking at number one, it shows us the 135 degrees. This would be the minor arc, and then this would be major. It shows us the degrees of the minor arc, and then we're supposed to determine the measure of this. Well, the angles all around a circle add up to 360. So 360 minus 135 would give us that measure, which it comes out to 225, 225 degrees. Pretty straightforward, right? Okay, now number two, same thing, label the minor and the major. So this would be minor, this is major. And then we would do 360 minus 68 to figure out this arc over here. And so it would be 292 degrees. Number three. Again, same process, minor, major. 360 minus 120 gives us 240 degrees, so this is 240 degrees. Okay, the next three is literally repeating that, but something I do wanna go over a concept that's important. Um, this angle right here is called a central angle, so this is called a central angle. And this is called the arc. So the degree measure of the central angle and the degree measure of the arc is the same. So if this is 170 degrees, then arc MN is also 170 degrees. Okay, next. Now we're going to apply it to some examples. It says identify the given arc as major, minor, or semicircle, then find the measure of the arc. Zooming out a little bit. Okay, arc AC. So AC right here, let's see, from A to C. Notice how it's exactly halfway around. This is a diameter here. So therefore, this is a semicircle. And the degree measure of it would be 180 degrees because it's halfway around the circle. Okay, next. AB right here, looking at it, AB is right here. Also notice that AB could be the other way around. However, always go the shortest distance from one to the other. So AB right here, what would be the measure of that? Well, we can do 180 minus 46 to find that measure, and it comes out to 134. 134 degrees, and it would be a minor arc. Next one, it says it wants arc FG. Looking over here, FG, just from F to G, it already says the measure right here, 64. 64 degrees, minor. And then EG would be from here to here, just add 67 plus 64. And that comes out to 131 degrees. Again, still a minor. 131 degrees the whole thing. 
Okay, some different examples done here for number 11, A through D. Find the measure of each arc. Here it says JL. Again, go the shortest distance possible. J to L, 53 plus 79, comes out to 132 degrees. Then KM, from here to here, 79 plus 68, 147 degrees. Now they brought in a third letter. Just like with angles, we need to connect the dots. Um, so let's see, JLM. JLM, it wants us to go this way, all the way around. Okay, so we have to add those three angles together. It comes out to 200 degrees. And then JM, from J to M right here. To find this out, we could do 360 minus these three angles. 360 minus, we added them up to 200. So it'd be 160 degrees. Okay, next example, you know, they always bring in a little something different in each example. This one, we're not gonna go through each exact question, but we're going to look at how this is set up and how we can figure out all the angles. So here it says this is 42, and based on that we can find all the other angles. Um, remember, vertical angles are congruent, so if this is 42, then this is 42. And then you can see that this is a diameter, so these two angles would add to 180 degrees. So we can do 180 minus 42 to find out this angle and it is 138 degrees. And then of course vertical angles are equal, so 138 here as well. Okay, now we're gonna flip the page. We're actually not gonna do any of the examples on the back here. We're going to switch up to the top of 849. So this is page 849, this first example here. Okay, so of course they bring in the algebra. They want to know what is the value of x. So based on what they show us, that this is a diameter. So these two angles would add up to 180 degrees. So 2x minus 30 plus x equals 180. And we can solve it like this. Maybe at x equals 70. It wants us to find the measure of the red arc. So to find that, you can just plug that into the expression 2 times 70 minus 30. Of course, just make sure it's logical based on the picture. And you should be good. OK, that is all you need to know for the homework assignment. If you have any questions with the homework, let me know. If you finish the homework, do Khan Academy. I'm also going to be working on the forms over here.